welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming and today we are going to have a look at three different games again which will be Slow Pac-Man, Pig Boy and Star Chef. My name is Gerald, as always I've got a couple of different things with me which are of course a Bluetooth mouse which is this one. I'm going to use a foldable keyboard as my keyboard input device here and we are going to use the Lumia 950XL which is a Windows 10 mobile smartphone with a USB-C connector and a Moso cover at the back. And um, the USB-C connector is connected to the display dock which is standing at the side here, which is more, uh, in general by HDMI in this case is at least uh, connected to the TV. And the TV is just going to give us the output more or less of the smartphone. So uh, you see this desktop-like experience, which is generated by the smartphone by itself. If you want to know more about that and how to do that, what technology that is, please have a look at the, car uh, the corner up there. And other than that, let's start with the first game. And the first game is Slow Pac-Man. Slow Pac-Man is exactly what it sounds like. It's a slow version of Pac-Man. I'm not sure why they made it slow, but it's easier to play like this. So if you like Pac-Man, or at least you would like, for instance, to let it be played by, I don't know, your child, your kid, um, or some kind of a nephew or whatever, then this might be the right thing to do. It takes a little while to load, so just give it uh, some seconds more or less and then you can play Pac-Man in a very slow version, but yeah, the name already said it, so that's just intended to be like this, I'm not sure why. Okay, so here we go. Um, as you can see, it's even the, the normal style, the, the default style of Pac-Man, the classical game, and I'm just going to turn around, it's going to be played with the keyboard, in this case, um, of course you can play it with touch controls and stuff like that too, but I'm going to play it with the keyboard, and I'm just going to turn around to show you everything. Of course, in the menu I'm going to use my mouse here. So let's click on that. And we are on. And now all you have to do, as in normal Pac-Man 2, is just to avoid all the different ghosts here. It's called ghosts if I'm not wrong. And avoid them as long as you can and just get all the different points here you can see them we are going to eat all the points and if you are going to eat one of the bigger points then the ghosts can be eaten by yourself problem is it's only going to last for a couple of seconds as you can see and the second problem is they are going to be more or less revived after a pretty short while good thing is you get you get a little ooh, 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 okay sorry uh, you get a little bit of, of uh, more points for eating them too so yeah win-win or whatever and the score you can already see it uh, down there is going to be just calculated up and you have a couple of different lives to get everything done and yeah the, the aim of the game is just to eat every point you can see there and just avoid as many of the ghosts as you can, or better to say eat them all or whatever, but in the end you have to eat all the different points, so that's the real win condition here. So everything else is pretty pretty um, uninteresting in the end. Just eat as many points as you can see or can get, and if you come on, want to eat for instance the ghosts Meanwhile, then just do that, that's fine too. Yeah, um, I think everybody knows Pac-Man. If you don't know it, then probably you have been living under a rock or something. Or more likely you are just very, very young and couldn't really uh, have played that because it's not that common anymore as it was in the early days of computers and stuff like that. Okay, so um, in the end, you already know it, that's the game. Of course, you already know Pac-Man in the end. And so, I just don't have to tell you much more about this. And the second uh, game is Pig Boy, which we are going to have a look at. And Pig Boy is a pretty fun little 
um, side scroller in the end, it's yeah, a boy that is more or less in the costume of a pig, and he's not too happy about it as it seems, and uh, he has to just avoid different obstacles. So let's go in there, and I'm going to show you what this game is all about. There we go. As you can see, a little bit on the yeah unhappy side, I would say. So um, interesting about this game is that you can play it in different uh, styles. So you can, as you can see here, um, use touchscreen, mouse, keyboard, Xbox controller, or any uh, Xbox compatible controller. So any gamepad, but this one is of course an Xbox controller. So we can try it out. In the end, it's really just a one-button solution game. So. Um, you don't really have to do that. Um, for that I'm just going to hold the button on my Xbox One as well as controller here for a while, so it's going to shut down if it's already on. And um, make sure that I'm only activating it if the game is already running. This is some of, uh, of the more important things here. And after that I'm just clicking on Start. And yeah, he would have jumped up. Let's go to the side here. As you can see, he is not reacting in the menu, I think at least. First time I got into this menu was selectable, blah, blah, blah. so let's go back, click on this one and let's see which one I have to press. Okay, it's going to be B to be pressed. Oh, there's even some kind of a storyline in there. Didn't know that there was a backstory. Yeah, so if you want to, uh, to read this, fun. Fun that uh, the story is there. You can click on the story button here to get that. But all we want to do here is of course jump. And as you can see, there are going to be obstacles. It's a little bit like playing Flappy Bird or something, but not really. Because you don't have to press it all the time, but you can stay in mid-air, for instance, if you are using it uh, and just pressing the button all the time again. And that is more or less the same mechanic as it would be in flat Flappy Bird. So in Flappy Bird you can't run on the ground. If you are going to run on the ground, I think you are going to die. And other than that, just try to live as long as you can. Uh, get all the different ones here. If you want to jump over a higher obstacle like this, you have to be fast enough to do that, of course. And you are just going to hit the button then a couple of times to be able to do that. There we go. Yeah. This is more or less Pig Boy. It's a, a small little game. As you can see, the, the server of the game seems to be already shut down, but you can still play it. You just don't get any kind of score information for that. But if you like uh, uh, these kind of side scrollers with a little bit of Flappy Bird and this funny little guy, then just try it out. I think it's fun to play. You can play it for a long time or just hit some. I'm going to hit equation yet. Uh, so hit the different walls there and then you're going to be there. And this is a little story. As you can see, you had the last run time score of 21. So we got 21. Um, yeah, barriers, whatever. Uh, solved there. And this is more or less what this game is all about. Okay, and so let's have a look at the last one for this episode. And the last one in this case is going to be Star Chef, a cooking game. It's a pretty nice one. If you are going to start it for the first time, you get a little bit of back information about all this. And um, yeah, in the end, they, they like cooking more or less. And so they are going to, to talk to you there. Interesting about that, just to a little side note, whatever. In Germany, there is Chef 2 as a word, but Chef in Germany means boss. So, in some situations, if you are going to, to talk to a German or something like that, you might run into that little false friend there. Yeah? And so, if somebody is going to say something strange about chefs or about bosses, 
then he's probably trying to tell you that his boss did something and not his chef did something. But in this case we're going to cook something, so this is going to be more or less what we are here for and we are cooking, so here it is a chef you're going to be. And um, interesting about this is that you are going to yeah, cool. Uh, is that you are going to more or less run your own restaurant in this game. So you can scroll out and scroll in. Go around just by dragging the screen around for instance. And as you can see, you've got, in this case a little bit of a Halloween scene, whatever. But the interesting part is that you've got a couple of different things. So for instance, there's a servant that is going to, of course, get the different um, orders by the customers. Okay. Next level, got it there. And um, then you can, after a while at least, you can uh, put in your own restaurant name. Let's name it just Fuchos. Whatever, doesn't really matter. And um, in the end, as you can see, you are going to be the chef of the restaurant here. And you are going to try to get some kind of awards. In this case, for instance, put another uh, table in your in your restaurant. I already did that. Um, get sweet tomatoes to be um, be ready for a new meal you are going to provide to the customer. And the next one is a uh, yeah koch group, koch partner, whatever. So we have to get into the community of cooks in the end. Okay, yeah, whatever. Um, doesn't really matter what this is all about. The interesting part is that you can already see there are, going, uh, there are going to be different things you can do here. For instance, you can, um, of course, serve all your customers, cook stuff, um, buy different ingredients and stuff like that. So for your, your soups, you are going to be a soup uh, restaurant at the start. Um, you're going to have to get, for instance, some kind of, of uh, cream, which is going to be available in this part. And after a while, you are going to have to run and get tomatoes like these. So your own little gardener, more or less, is going to provide the tomatoes or tomatoes for you. Which is a little bit funny, but whatever. Okay, so let's see what he wants here. I should send a gift. To Matt for some reason or the other. Let's see what's, uh, what Matt is all about. I'm pretty sure I can see what he's going to do now. Um, but in the end the game is all about just getting your own restaurant running, trying to serve your customers, trying to build a better place for your customers so the restaurant itself can be equipped with different things and there are going to be musicians uh, you can hire and stuff like that. And um, in the end here you can see one of, of Matt's ones, so yeah, you can do a lot more than we have done at the moment. Of course, because I just played it for a couple of, of minutes really. But in the end, as you can see, here you can already see it. There's a musician playing in the, in the restaurant. They are going to have different kind of decorations all over the place. There are servants here which are going to run around and yeah, and help the customers and all of these guys yeah seems to be pretty happy if you ask me so let's go back to our own place we just want to create something like this of course so in the end um we are at the start of everything so i just played probably two or three days i'm not sure um and i'm talking in game game days, not uh, outside or real world games. And yeah, okay. Yeah. If I can skip this, I'm going to try to do that. Perfect. So, um, in the end, what is it all about? You can see already that there are two more or less orders available at this little place or whatever. And you will have to get them to receive some kind of experience points and the star points. Of course, you're a chef, you want to be a star chef, so you get one star, two stars, three, three stars, whatever. And um, so in the end, what the order is, we have to cook a tomato soup and a mushroom soup in this case. And of course, we can't do anything. 
We could buy it now, but I'm not going to do that. What we are going to have to do here is, of course, get the different ingredients if we don't have it already. And if we have it, like in this case, we already have enough of that. We are just going to cook it and it's going to take a little while to be produced or you can just skip it. Skipping is of course expensive, so you might not want to do that. Let's have a look what's going on here. Yeah, this is, this is our mic. Thank you, Mike, for the gift. He got us a gift, which is a nice little thing. And we have a new experience level over here. So we got the Kochzepel part, so the cooking community is now in there. And now we should go to level 6 and have a look at the French cuisine here, which is a nice thing. French cuisine can be pretty good. At least in these kinds of situations. In the end, I'm not that much of a, the biggest fan. But there are pretty much yeah, stuff for everybody, of course. Who doesn't like a croissant or something, I'm not sure. But whatever. So let's have a look in our recipe book. Because we already have one. As you can see, this is our recipe book. And we can see that we have, for instance, this, this mushroom uh, soup. And we have... Uh, soup from tomatoes, roasted tomatoes in this case. And yeah, so let's have a look what they ordered and if we can provide it now. Probably not because we just have to wait a little before we can produce it. So there is one of our mushroom soups readily available now. But we have to create, of course, this one too. I'm just going to skip this to give you an example how this is going to work. Of course, you shouldn't do that too often because yeah, in the end it's going to cost you this money, which is of course the in-game uh, currency, but costs you after a while if you really want to play in a fast style. Uh, so do whatever you want there. I wouldn't recommend to get that, but it's up to you. So let's go to this one and we are going to serve this. So if we click that, you can see our servant is going to run around and give that kind of stuff to our customers. So we are going to eat it, of course. It's a little bit funny because in many situations there are two customers, but he's only giving them one meal and everybody is eating from it or something, I'm not sure. But whatever. It's a nice little simulation if you ask me, if you like this kind of, of simulation style stuff. Um, as mentioned before, you can of course do a couple of different things here. For instance, you can go to your shopping experience, whatever, come on. I mean, thank you. And yeah, here you can of course get different things like, for instance, come on. There we go. Um, you can, for instance, go and create probably potatoes, I'm not sure, but probably potatoes. Uh, we could get a grill in this case and many, many different other things like different, um, yeah, this is, this is of course a fontaine in the end. So we could, for instance, put in accessoires and stuff like that for our restaurant and yeah, just have a look around, try the game out if you like this kind of, of game and uh, it's what you really like to play, something like like creating a restaurant, creating something else, a shop or whatever. This is a great game for you, just try it out. Yeah, and other than that, I would say thank you for watching, thank you for listening, have a great day, have a great night of course. And uh, of course, if you didn't give it a thumbs up till now, you might want to consider that now. And uh, if you have any kind of questions, put them down in the commentary section box below. And other than that, don't forget to sub subscribe and see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.